Hello everyone, here's a clue to that. Now the clue this is the Westminster, Westminster, which is um, one of the latest from Penguin Magic. They actually just released a black honeybee deck as well. If you're interested in that, go check it out. This is the Westminster, it's inspired by the Westminster, of course. And it says Westminster, elite playing cards on the bottom with a uh, ultimate color on there. A kind of a crest or a seal, kind of a circle diamond thing down here, whatever that is. On the side it says designed by Phil Smith, produced in collaboration between Sovereign Playing Cards and Penguin Magic, with those lines again. Sovereign Playing Cards, of course, is the creator of the decks for uh, Drummond Money Coots, the DMC decks, which I have a couple of reviews on. And he designed those, he designed this one as well. So it says Premium Finish, professional for professional card handling, designed in the UK, manufactured in the US of AA. Top says Westminster Elite Playing Cards, and the bottom, Penguin Magic logo and website and info made by USBC. Back, so the back design, which you can see is inspired by the Westminster Abbey. It looks like the ceiling in the building. And there's no seal on the flap. Get those lines again. And that's that. For the cards, they're fairly standard. You do get a couple of gas cards. You get a duplicate, two of hearts. You get a card that's half king of clubs, half king of spades. And then you get... Where am I? I'm confused. You get the Jokers, which also have a gaff. It says Joker with the two cards in Westminster. And you see some kind of a gargoyle. What's the habit? What's in the habit? Whatever it is. It's only in a card and just kind of soft. And now he's revealing that it is your card, the Two of Hearts, which goes great with that duplicate Two of Hearts. So I think that's great. There's a second deck I think now I've seen that has a reveal and a duplicate that goes with the reveal. The Ace of Spades has those lions, so kind of like a, a um, what's going to call it, in there. And it says Westminster on the bottom, the, uh, like a, a family crest type thing. Pretty cool. A back, um, I'm not sure if it has metallic ink or not. I think it's supposed to have metallic ink. I'm not 100% sure. Then the rest of the card that is completely 100% standard USB C. That is that. <clears throat> As to review, comment, rate, subscribe. I don't know what you think. No, just kidding. Um, so, the place goes soft here, goes in fitness, what have you. I did something to my thumb, to my hand, so it's a little hard for me to do a riffle shuffle, but I'll make do, and for fanning as well. Anyways, the back design, nice, simple, but highly detailed. And I like it, I'll say, 5 out of 5, I like it, it's great. Very nice back design, highly detailed, functional, usable faces. They're just standard. Uh, I'll say <clears throat> four out of five. Nothing wrong with them, they're just nothing around with them. The jokers are fine, the ace of spades is fine. The gas cards are fine. Um, handling wise, pretty good. So I would say four and three quarters out of five. Overall, you know, four and a half out of five, four and three quarters out of five. It's a good solid deck, great for performing, nice for collecting, <laughs> um, that sort of a thing. It's uh, it's not custom, and that's fine. It's expected because it's Penguin Magic, and they're going to put out something that magicians can use. So it's to be expected, and it's fine. I like it. That is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, don't forget to check out my sponsors. CollectiblePointingCards.com PointingCards.net and CardPoint.com Links and discount codes in the description box below. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.